Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 new mods. Now today we've got a few mods to show you, not as many as I'd like, but let's have a look. Let's go to the mod hub. And today we've got four mods. Go over to latest. We got the Fleegor wood trailer. Which yeah, that could be handy as long as it's got. I bet it hasn't got a um, a trailer hitch on the back of it though. I bet you it hasn't. And that's by BR Mod Performance. Then the next one we've got is a fuel station, and that's by Vertex Design. Fuel station is used for a bigger farm property. Keep your machines fueled up with the next long work day without driving to the next local fuel station. All right, it's a different one, I suppose. Then we've got another. Oh, it's a front cultivator. I wasn't sure that was what well, that was, and that was by Agritechnik Nordifal or something like that. And then last, and it shouldn't be here. Look, it's giants. Right, I'm assuming this is the smaller one than what we've already got. So, and it comes with a couple of different headers. Yeah, big whoop. Another one what giants tried to sneak into the game. And that's it for today. Right, so first off, we're going to have a look at the Fleegor wood trailer. Now, these are £29,730 to buy, which is a bit of a strange number and you can lease it for £2,051. They are minus 16 slots and you can have choice of this bit and well you see all the yellow you can have there's quite a few different colour uh, variations on that there was a few extra different colours as well what we haven't got on the others and also with the rims exactly the same with them you can change the color of the rims i have got the nokian forest tires i think this one had the forest tires and that cost you an extra seven and a half grand which was quite a lot disappointed to see there is no hitch on the back for adding more trailers and the other thing it's it's got in the shop where it says no plate and plate now can you tell the difference because one's got no plate and one's got a plate i think this is obviously a glitch or something i i reckon it is that front plate makes sense that you could have it without that but i don't know we shall see we shall see right so moving on to the next one and it is the silo wolf front cultivator now this is quite a nice little mod uh, ideal if you're using the three meter cedars which I don't tend to myself but I know there's a lot of people who do especially on the smaller maps it costs seven thousand pounds to buy and you can lease it for 357 pounds it's a three meter wide and you require 80 horsepower to run it it's got a working speed of nine mile an hour and it's minus three slots and it's got the front lights on there it does like the other ones rolls along you see it rolling carries on rolling yeah so if you wanted another front cultivator there it is there it is but ideal for running with a cedar on the back especially on stuff like cotton or corn something what needs cultivating first so is you can especially get a couple of tractors on the go you can get that sorted pretty quick so it is a nice li little mod just not something i will be using i doubt but that's just me righto 
we are going over to the last one now this is suspect mod because it's by giants and it's a smaller version we've got the larger one at the moment which is the i think it's 650 horsepower or 550 it's more than this one anyway and they brought this out as a pack right now the annoying thing is it's like on multiplayer all this stuff what giants bring out and they're calling mods all it does is block up the mods in the mod hub because now when we go into games there's certain things which we should have anyway and you've got to put it on your mods and if you're playing with others they've got to have those same mods and it is a complete pain in the ass so I wish they would get all this stuff they call mods and just put it in the game and the mod hub would have probably seven or eight percent um, because at the moment I'm sure it's about 40 odd percent or something ridiculous anyhow we have a new forage harvester now this one is uh, smaller a little bit cheaper than the the cheapest one at the moment is the mod and that's the crone and I did have problems with that when I tried to cut some grass with it on a, a series I was doing at the moment so it'd be nice to well we got something else a little bit different now this one is 221,000 pounds to buy and 11,271 pounds to lease it is 442 horsepower and it's got a 80 mile an hour top speed there's no options on it you get it in the colors it comes with let's have a look inside yeah we got the LCD screen and then I'll the pedals going no nothing on the pedals the joy pad but not on the pedals pedals right we'll hook up to it comes in a pack because it comes with two different headers now this header is the PF307 and it's minus six slots 3.1 meters wide for cutting your grass and it's got a working speed of 12 mile an hour now the only we have got one in the shop at the moment and it's three meters wide or unless you're going to use the six meter ones but they're the different type of sort of mower um, but yeah it's that little bit wider than the rest and this will cost you 18 grand or 918 pounds to lease so not a, a fortune it is like the mid-range one basically pipe out So that is that header. Let's drop that one off. And then we move over to the corn header. Now the corn headers are, are quite a lot more money. There we go, pick that one up. Now these are this is the 600 R corn header and it costs 70 grand. You can lease it for three and a half thousand and seventy pounds. It's six meter wide and is minus six slots with a six mile an hour working speed. But all oh, looks lovely. I do like the way these. Uh, you see the animation on these. You know the timing of it all is awesome. I bet that takes a lot of time getting that sorted. So there you have it, a new forage header harvester with two headers. Yeah, big whoop. Just what I wanted. Been waiting so long for this to come in. And now he's here, oh, can't believe it. Brilliant. Anyhow, we're moving on to the last mod and it is a mod it's not giants it's a mod I actually wanted to see what the lights were like on the hopefully you got because it looked like they were the LEDs 
Yeah, they're pretty bright on there, I see. Nice. Please start engine. I thought it had started. Right, this one is placeable. So it's out the back. And it's easy, easy. A fuel station. Fuel station Eco Pro. Now this is minus six slots. Let's jump out and have a look around. Comes with your, your pump there. All in German by the looks of it. But yeah, nice looking little feature. Seven thousand a buy. No, it's not. It's fourteen thousand to buy, and obviously you can't lease it because it's placeable. But it looks nice, especially if you've got a bigger farm and you've got a bit more space. You just want to roll in, fill up. It's a great thing to have on the entrance to your farm because at least then, whenever you're coming in and out, you can just fill it up as and when you need to. Right. Well, that is it for today. That is it. It. I was expecting a few more than that, but there's still 230 odd mods, I think it was, or 240 mods waiting to be tested. So we've got lots more on the way. Hopefully, we'll be getting those auto loaders. I'll keep waiting. Where's the auto loaders? And then we can do some proper bailing. Right out. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to leave a like if you've enjoyed the episode and hit that subscribe if you want to see more content. Till next time, goodbye.